<laughs> uh, I get nutmeg quite a bit, to be fair. I think that's purely from being tall, so even when I do get megged, I, I tell them that there's nothing good in it because you should be megs in me quite a lot, so. Yeah, and then, yeah, I'm gonna put Webby in that as well, because when we do the boxes, he tends to, uh, to, to get megs quite a few times as well, so he'll not be happy with us saying that. Uh, Pascal Gross, probably. Like, he, he goes out every day and, and tries his best, and he, he's always top of the uh, GPS charts for how far he's ran and sprints he's put in and stuff. So, yeah, I think I would say Pascal would be the, the best trainer. Well, gives his own. I think a lot of the lads do that, to be fair. Like strikers do a lot of finishing, uh, we do a lot of set pieces work and stuff. So, I think it's from all the clubs I've been at, I think the it, the most people here would, would stay after training and try to add little bits of the game and stuff, which is good to see. Um, Basuma by a mile. Um, the ability he's got is frightening. I think like if he can keep being consistent like he's done this season and, and give 100% effort and sort of everything he does, he could be whatever player he wants to be. He could play Champions League, anything like that. So yeah, this is uh, ridiculous. His highlight reel must be an absolute scandal. Yeah, you'd be surprised, you know. There's not that many lads who would be who'd be decent on the bench press. I'll say me, just just because I can't think of anyone. Uh, Aaron Connolly. <laughs> I can't believe he does, but he, but he definitely poses in the mirror the most. I would, I would say if I had if I wanted someone motivating us to go, it would be Adam Lallana because I think he could motivate anyone to do anything. 